Well, here I am, getting a little farther along with the painting. As you can see, I've taken a lot of the mush mush everything, colors, lines, everything, and done a lot of reductive painting to find uh, the beginnings of the image. Up in this corner, I still have left some of the um, lines and, and mistakes that I made. Here was a remnant of a mistake here. I didn't like the placement of the Control. It's still not big enough, but we're going to change all that now. Some people ask, why do you make up such a mess? Why don't you just paint the painting? And the answer is, because I have an idea for the painting, but I don't have the idea developed yet. That comes through uh, inspiration and intuition, and it comes from just making marks. The idea of making a painting is that a finished painting is something that happens while you're busy painting. And so if you're always striving for the end, you may never get there. Or if you do get there, it may not be a genuine and spontaneous expression of what you were hoping for. So, if a painting is something that happens while you're busy painting, that's what I'm going for here. So I put all that mess on there, and now I'm inspired by some of the elements I saw. For instance, I saw these here, I saw the second figures here, I knew this was going to go there, and I saw buildings outside the window. That was an inspiration. I also realized that some of the things I thought were so great aren't so great anymore. They're not working. I may put them back in later, but for now, they're going away. I like that. I'm going to leave half of that. It looks like a gate. I bring brushes with me everywhere I go. Well, I'm back, and as you can see, I've uh, been to work on this a little bit. A lot has changed. Um, one of the most notable changes is up in here, um, all the colors and uh, lines have gone. And in fact, what I've done is taken some decorative paper and glued it on and painted over it because I just love the texture of these circles, especially how they mimic these circles in here. Um, and then I painted over them. Uh, the problem is now they're too dark, so I'm going to make them lighter. Um, also, these two figures are too bright. They don't look like they're in the background, so I've got to take them back down. Um, and I also changed the color here, which I don't like, so I'm going to change that back. I changed the table. I don't like that either, so I'm going to change that back. Um, I've got all kinds of experiments going on here, and that's how you get to the finished painting. It's all about the inspiration, and if you wonder about something, you just have to try it, and then you see if you like it or not. And then we move on. Yes, it's a good day for singing a song, and it's a good day for moving along. Yes, it's a good day, how could anything be wrong? Yeah, 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 there's too many legs, but you got to start with something. What I like to do is uh, reductive painting, so eventually I paint everything that's not the table, and it comes back into its own existence. Everything to gain and nothing to lose, a good day from morning till night. I said to the sun, good morning sun, rise and shine today. And throw away the pills Cause it's a good day From morning till
hit that green against the orange, I might just keep that. Good morning, sun. I do like Good the orange, morning, but it's too sun. orange. So I'm going to tone Rise it down and adding a little today. green. You know Wet you got to get going if you're going to make a show and you got the right of way cuz it's a good day for curing your ears and it's a good day for paying your bills so take a deep like breath and that goes and Okay, so I've gotten a fair distance with this painting now, and I'm reminded of the saying, uh, for artists anyway, start like a bricklayer, finish like a jeweler. And I'm up to the jeweler part now, I'm putting in details. I'm going to put in a few very small expressions on the faces of the people. Maybe I'll put some pearls on her, maybe some uh, pearls here, and maybe a few medals or medallions and epaulets on him. Something to give just a little bit of something to look at when you're looking at the painting up close.